Hi, this video is part two of our configuring R2 symbols and applications for an Android device talking to Crestron systems. Uh, part one, we showed uh, the configuration of the simple Windows program, and here we're going to show you the configuration of the VT Pro graphics file project um, that corresponds with the symbol that we configured in the simple Windows program. Uh, here, I'm going to go ahead and add a new project. Uh, for the time being, we're going to use the Crestron Mobile Pro G or Crestron Mobile Pro projects. Uh, again, R2 is fully compatible with Crestron Mobile Pro and Mobile Pro G, which are for iPhones and iPads. Um, R2 obviously being for an Android device. Um, and uh, in the future here, we're going to have a target uh, in VT Pro that will be an Android device and will have a variety of custom uh, resolutions since Android devices come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Uh, for the time being, however, you go you need to go ahead and use Crestron Mobile Pro or Mobile Pro G. The difference being Crestron Mobile Pro is for uh, an iPhone iPod Touch resolution. Really, it's an iPhone 3 um, uh, or older uh, resolution. Uh, that's 320 by 460 is the actual uh, project resolution. And uh, on the Crestron Mobile Pro G, that's obviously for an iPad. And the resolution of this project is fixed at 768 by uh, 1004, uh, 1004. Again, in the future, we're going to have a uh, dedicated uh, target here that you can customize. Uh, but the cool thing about R2 is even though your Android device might not be exactly one of these resolutions, the R2 client can actually uh, automatically scale the graphics um, uh, of the of the project uh, and make it look pretty darn good, even though it's um it's it's not exactly uh, the resolution. This project is not exactly the resolution of your device. So uh, let's go ahead and use Crestron Mobile Pro um, again. As we mentioned in part one, something very important is that the name of your Android or the name of your VT Pro project needs to be exactly the name, the project name, that you entered into the native symbol back in Simple Windows. We had called that Android 1, if you recall. I go ahead and I click Create, and everything from here is, uh, is very straightforward, just like you would use VT Pro for any other um, touch panel. Uh, page 1, go ahead and uh, always mark pages first. Now from here, of course, I can go ahead and, you know, add a button, um, it's a nice invisible button. Um, I can add an image, go in here and just uh, throw an image in here for the heck of it. Um, uh, and away I go. Once I save and compile and upload this project and uh, upload, uh, uh, compile and upload the simple Windows program to the processor, I go to part three, which I'll show you a quick video of, uh, to configure R2 on the Android client device and we're ready to rock and roll. That's it.